James, so fantastic to meet you this morning or this afternoon for you. How are you? I'm golden, Bonnie. Uh, great to meet you too. Hello, CH Morning Canada. Uh, I have to tell you, this was one of the best films I've seen this year. I loved it so much. How did the idea percolate in that head of yours to write down a paper and bring us this? Wow. Well, for me, you know, the, thank you for, for um, liking it as much as, much as you did. Um, job well done, I suppose. Um, for me, the idea um, came from just my love of, of the Western genre, my love of cowboys and cowgirls, my love of just old school uh, cinema storytelling, but also my frustration in the narrow scope they were shown with women always being subservient, people of color being treated as less than human and subservient and yeah. growing up and realizing all of these amazing characters um, existed, uh, real characters that we never got taught about. And I really just wanted to um, uh, have my, my uh, debut feature film be a story that encompasses all these real characters in a fictional, in a fictional tale, but really just lifelike and, and, and uh, swagging out in the, in a way that I imagined uh, them being, just given, broadening the, the whole idea of what was the Western. Uh, yeah, and then you get this jackpot of a cast. I mean, well, you know, look at this, this pedigree of people that you are working with. I wanna know, you know, it being your feature, first feature, what was it like for you to learn from them and having them on set? It was amazing. I mean, firstly, I had a dream cast, right? Um, uh, you know, I'd write down on paper who's the best person to play this character, and I managed to get all of them, right? And and so that was just awe-inspiring and, and really uh, uh, just giving me the energy to get up every single day and and with a big beam on my face and 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 smile. But also, you know, Regina King had just directed her debut feature from One Night in Miami. And she yeah, was in post yeah. while she was doing this. So she came to the set, giving me all these tips and not making me miss a beat. Um, Idris Elba, who had directed Yardi, his debut feature film just a few years ago, him not making me miss a beat. And I, it's almost like I, I had a super group of directors. Yeah. Right? Like just that I'm talking to every single day and, and making sure everything's intact and my brain is is right. And it was, it was so... Um, uh, awesome that it was surreal yeah i can imagine now i the, given your musical background and given the fact that you've collaborated with jay-z on this film as well i gotta tell you my friend the music is so kick-ass i immediately downloaded it to my spotify i, I like it is so fabulous Thanks. tell me a little bit about just how you chose what you chose and i was telling zazi that my one of my favorite scenes is that choreographed shootout at the, well, I don't want to give away too much, but holy mackerel, when it comes on Netflix, I'm going to rewind and watch it 4,000 more times, honestly. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I made it and I watch it 4,002 times, right? I'm ahead of you by two. Um, okay, okay. <laughs> for me, for me uh, I composed the score and I wrote and produced um, the entire soundtrack. So there's a couple of uh, scenes in there where I use uh, pre-existing songs but it was easy to choose the, the music for particular scenes because I was writing it and, and, and creating it and um, uh, there's a scene I think the scene you references where I use Fela Kuti's um, Let's Start and I've never seen it's you know it's very rare I've, if you've even heard that in a, in a movie but in a western and having Barrington Levy sing over the over the score. These are things that I've dreamt about since I was a child. Like, why wasn't this done? How is this entire world of music from Africa, from the Caribbean, just left out of, of cinema, right? And, and so for me, just from the usage of gospel and all of these things of the, the black experience and, and, and our lives, I, I just think they speak to, to the old West, right? And, yeah. and, and uh, uh, I just had to pull them all in. Oh, it's just, it's just phenomenal. Okay, so I know that you had your whole, I'm just gonna really quickly, the whole cast had to go through co cowboy camp. Did you get on a horse and practice too, along with them? No, no, <laughs> I never got on a horse. Like, I'm really scared of nature. And horses are big, beautiful creatures. When I'm up close and to a horse, I'm like, 
this is kind of scary. But those guys, they're like fearless, like Regina King, Idris Elba, Jonathan Majors, Lakeith, these dudes, D Daniel Deadweiler. Yeah. Literally, their horses were, were almost like cars. They, I saw Jonathan Majors have a conversation with a horse and he started crying and I could swear his horse was crying. And they both had their heads on each other. You, you actually know the horse. Yeah. For me, like, I'm scared getting in the Uber. I love it. <laughs> okay, well, I, I get that. The Uber thing I do get. But anyway, congratulations, James. Thank you so much for this movie. I absolutely loved it. And what a thrill to talk to you today. Thank you so much for your time. So much. I love you.